Welcome to another edition of Interruptions. I'm your host, Otis Smith. Today, I have a treat for you. I have some super guys I love uh, on today. We have singer, actor, Keith Robinson, and then we have Mr. Sophisticated Soul himself, Will Downey. How are you guys doing, fellas? Doing good. Man, no complaints on this end, bro. Good to see you, good brothers. Uh, I hope y'all like the background. I had to put this one together. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, we, we look like a before and after picture. Oh, uh, see. Like, see. I, I look like I look like the before you work out. He looked like the after you work out. Like. <laughs> that, that picture's kind of dead. I don't even know where you found that one at. <laughs> well, what I did, Keith, is I said I, I pulled Will's a picture of Will first. Uh oh, we lose him. And uh, can I you hear so. me? Can you hear me, man? But Keith, what's funny yeah. is I have a radio show, man. So I yeah. see Keith Robinson on there. I used to have a brother in my band that played guitar and sang. It's the same name, Keith, okay. Keith Robinson. So I'm like, yeah, brother lives in Connecticut. So I'm like, I'm listening to it. I'm going like, I don't remember Keith singing this good. <laughs> I, I know Keith never sang this good. <laughs> wow. Can y'all hear can y'all hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we good. Okay, yeah. go go ahead. Go ahead, Will. Oh, I, I was telling Keith the uh the the, the musical connection. I okay. said I used to have a brother in my band, a guitar player's name was Keith Robinson, and he used to oh, sing and he played. And I'm listening to the song and I'm going like, I don't remember Keith ever singing this good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I heard another song, I was like. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I, I mean, I didn't get any pictures, I got MP3. So I was like, let me do a little bit of homework here. I was yeah. like, wait a minute, that's the dude that acts. I was like, yeah. he can sing too? Oh, yeah. That brother, got in, that brother got in line twice. God blessed him twice, man. So, <laughs> Thank yeah, you, man. Yo, oh, bro, you the real deal, sir. Yeah, likewise. I've been listening to you for years, man. Huge fan, bro. Man, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Every time I talk to Angela, I always ask about you. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Sure. Yeah, I, I was I was saying uh, that I had the picture of you, Will, and then I said, let me see if I can find a picture of Keith wearing white as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> they, I was trying to make it look like an album cover. <laughs> Listen, I, I look like I'm going to the baptism in that in that, that picture, uh, man. So. Need, <laughs> well, ain't, there, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing ain't wrong, wrong with that. With that. <laughs> hey, listen, I need to go again. You know, go get him done again. Hey, <laughs> let me ask you guys. My first question for both of you guys is: um, How do you, how, how do you guys continue to tour and do your work uh, for for you keep acting and doing your music and will recording and touring? How do you guys do that when you? How do you keep going when you're tired? Well, damn, I'm gonna let brother Keith go. He he got two jobs. <laughs> Well, I was gonna, I was gonna let you go for because the touring thing I, I'm you know I haven't done a lot of touring I'm I'm hoping to, to to tour as much as as Will does but uh you know with the acting and singing it's it's kind of they kind of go hand in hand because usually when I'm if I'm in between a gig acting wise and I'm in the studio recording like I'm 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 at home in L A now and I'm gonna record tonight and then if I'm on set uh there's a lot of downtime so they kind of have always gone hand in hand with me where I could create and be in a creative space on both sides and uh. You know, we, we we go we go where the bag is, right? There okay. You go. Okay. There you go. There you go. Hey, you know, as for me, I you know I have my regiment. It's basically mm -hmm. record, release, tour. So they all go hand in hand. And you know, I, I'm always recording. I'm up to album number twenty five. Wow. So I'm always recording something. I'm always always releasing something, and there's always some place to go. So wow. you know, I take I take that little bit of money I make touring, and you know, okay. reinvest in myself and. And we keep this thing going, you know. It ain't gonna I stop just, for the casket drop. I just amazing, man. Hey, man, thank you, bro. I say I'm good looking and smart like you, bro. So I gotta keep doing it. <laughs> you doing he, bro, for sure. He blessed me with tickets, uh, uh, Keith. Uh, after I, after yeah. I interviewed him for the first time, he blessed me with tickets, and he put on a uh, he put on a wonderful show, wonderful concert uh, in, in Atlanta. Uh, wow. out in Cobb County and then Will, listen, I was bragging so I knew a couple that went to the concert and they were like, what you doing here? I said, I know the guy that's performing. I, <laughs> that's not, that's not, you, know, you know, sometimes you just got to, you know, you know. You got, got flex on them. You, know, yeah, you, got them flex, you got to flex on them when people when people don't think you should be there, you know. So. <laughs> right. like, what are you doing here? 
<laughs> like, what do you mean? I can't be here. Yeah, I, I know people. I know somebody. <laughs> how do you guys? Um, how do you guys keep your sanity? You know, like a lot of times, um, you, you guys are blessing us with what you do, prospectively, for you, Keith, music and 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 and, and, and acting, and and Will with you singing, and th that sophisticated soul. How do you guys? And you know, people tugging on you all the time, like hey, like me. Hey, let me get some tickets. Okay, get <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, you know, how do you guys keep your sanity? When, when everybody's pulling on you guys or want, wants a piece of you guys? I will, I mean, as for me, it, it's weird, man. I, I have like both ends of the spectrum. Like when I'm home, I want to be at work. When I'm at work, I want to be at home. Right. Uh, when you don't get recognized, you get upset, you think that you're losing a step. When you get yeah. recognized, you say, I want to be left alone. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> No, yep. None of this make no sense. So, you know, it's just glad to be, you know, to, to still be in that number, to still be recognized and still be uh, wanted in some sort of way musically. Uh, people still come out and, and watch the show. So, you know, hey, man, that, that's the one thing that keeps you going. You know, when when no yeah. one is saying your name or when you, your name is not mentioned as, as part of a conversation for something bigger, uh, that's when you start going crazy, man. So you just keep doing what you do in yep. hopes that, you know, you keep getting what you get. I don't have much to add to that. I, mean, I couldn't have said it better. Uh, I think we all, we always have that insatiable appetite to, to do more, to be more, and uh, to, to get to the next moment. Uh, I, I do. I, I, I do a lot of meditation. Try to stay okay. around some people. Try to stay stay prayed up. But uh, I think we'll we'll say it best though. I think we're, we're always kind of like when you're at home, you're looking for the next gig. Mm -hmm. When you're on gig, yeah, you're tired and ready to get to the house. So uh, yeah, that's just what it is. It's yeah. funny. It's funny. You know, I haven't reached the heights that you guys have reached, but it's funny that you guys say that because that's what I do when I'm at home. I'm I'm sitting, you know, watching, you know, TV or something. I'm like, oh, let me interview him. Let me see if I can find how to interview this person. And then because my wife will say, put the phone down. I say, no, I'm not hooked on the phone. I'm not hooked on the phone. But this is this is how I have to find people to get interviews. So I got yeah. I got to kind of yeah. have it in my hand. <laughs> and, yeah. and it's funny you guys say that because if, if I don't do interviews, let's say I go a week, right? Well, I haven't interviewed anyone, right? Like you guys said, I get to itch and like, wait a minute, wait just a yeah. minute. I did, but at the same token, I keep forgetting I have a lot of content I hadn't even released yet. So, right. so right. I, I appreciate you guys saying so. I'm normal, okay. I'm normal. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't say that, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> these well, days in this in this digital age, man, if, if if you're not doing something or reinventing yourself, damn near every week, man, you feel like you don't even exist. So just, you know, it, it's bizarre, man. I. I I, I've never felt like this in, in my life. You know, I'm a, I'm a little sure. older, but, right. you know, I'm kind of like, you know, damn, I can't keep up. Like, I'm trying to be on Instagram. I'm trying to be on Facebook. I'm trying to record. I'm trying mm -hmm. to book dates. I'm trying to book hotels. I'm trying to book mm -hmm. airfares. I'm trying to, it's like, you know, it's like you're always on the go. And then somebody mm -hmm. runs up to you and go, oh, man, you're still alive? Like, like yeah, uh, I just did all this stuff. All right, let me do some more. You know, you <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, it's uh it's a conveyor belt. It's a never-ending conveyor belt. It's always what have you done for me lately? As in uh -huh. eight eight seconds. Yeah, right. You that's true. Uh, that's funny you said that. Right, eight seconds. <laughs> How do you guys determine what's what's best for you guys? Kind of alluding to uh, going a little bit deeper to the previous question uh, because you know both you got you 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 have a team around you and you know like Keith hey man this is you, you need to get this part or you know uh maybe your music should sound like this or maybe you should play this role or you know will maybe you need to go in this direction you know with your music how do you guys determine what is best for you for you guys and kind of push out the noise and say i got to do it this way because this is really what's best for me um, well, I think experience is the best teacher. I mean, you know, the more you, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get in your craft. And, uh, the naysayers, uh, they, they don't, they don't, they're not as loud as in your head. Cause you know what, through trial and error, I think for me, at least, um, 
I, I think that kind of keeps me balanced where I, I know where I am as an artist. I know what I want to say. I know what I'm capable of doing. So um, I think the more longer I do it, the more confident I get in, in that in that walk, basically. Yeah, and, and, and as for me, it's a situation where these days, I mean, you got to be careful what you what you say, what you do, what you participate in. And you have to look at it from that perspective. For me, man, I'm 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 old school. Like if it's gonna embarrass, you know, me or my family, uh -huh. and you know, I don't want no parts of it. If it's really not me, I kind of learned to say like, okay, this ain't meant for me. You know, you, you have to be yourself in a situation. The situations that pop up these days, you know what I mean. Certain shows that you do, certain songs that you record, who you record with, what you say, how you say it, you know, all of that plays a big part in it. And you have to kind of, you know, have to know yourself. Uh, gotcha. And and be man enough in this situation to kind of say, like, nah, you know, I, I don't want to be a part of it, or you know, or, or push for it. But you know, sure. um, yeah, that that's that's sort of like my mantra. Like, I'm old school in that regard. If it's gonna embarrass me or my family, like, damn, you know, gotcha. Yeah, y'all yeah, got it. <laughs> I'm, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> well, I want to shift a little bit. Just a couple of more questions. Um, do you guys have any uh, favorite sports teams? I have a feel. I know what he's gonna say. But being on the West Coast, I got a feel. I'm, I'm just taking an educated guess. Well, yeah, yeah, you, I, I probably thought you know, my 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 main core football team is uh, Georgia Bulldogs. That's my alumni. I got to shout them oh, out okay. since we won it this year. Um, <laughs> Atlanta, you see the colors. You see the colors. You see the colors. <laughs> Atlanta Atlanta Falcons is uh, but you know that, that's tough. We we we. I think we forfeited this year. Uh, and then you know I like the Lakers and the Rams because I live in L.A. Okay. But uh, my heart is in is in Georgia with my team, so I'm always rooting for them. So hopefully the Falcons and the Hawks can get over the hump while oh, I'm there still we go. While ah. I'm still in. <laughs> Well, you smile. Hey, hey, hey. Well, you smile. You smiled at least twice this year. You had the, you had the Braves and you yep. had them Georgia Bulldogs. We did. So, we did. We did. And, we did. and what's so funny, Will, those are the only two teams in the state of Georgia I root for are oh, the Braves <laughs> and the Georgia Bulldogs. <laughs> The Hawks went to the finals, though. I was about to say, yeah, yeah, my <laughs> man Trey, Trey Young. Yeah. I mean, hey, listen, Ice they trade. beat us. I yeah, well, I, I, they they beat us. I'm a New Jersey Nets fan, oh. and at the, you know, Nets and Knicks. I mean, okay. basically, the chant the, the chant here for the you know for the Hawks was Trey Young's balding, clap, 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 clap. Trey <laughs> Young's balding. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> my, but you know my outlet is the Nets, man, and and we just made a a nice little trade, little acquisition. Yeah, yeah y'all uh, so, right? Yeah, yeah, we well, we got Dragons. Yeah, we a little older. I wasn't expecting that one. Uh, I wasn't. I yeah, wasn't expecting got, that one either. I, no, not at all, man. Not at all. But you know, Nash wanted to pull him in, so you yeah. know. But we got Ben Simmons. Yeah. Uh, we got Seth Curry. You know, and and he ain't a bad three point shooter either. He ain't. He ain't. He ain't. And, with, with him and, and KD. We got a big man. Ooh. Yeah, well, K if we can get him on, if we can get him on the floor at the same time, you know that would be nice. Oh, yeah. it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You know, KD, KD getting ready to come back. KD, KD's getting ready to come back. They gonna, they gonna make the run. Uh, Keith, the only thing is just that with basketball, I don't have a favorite team. I just kind of root for like Please. certain players I like. You know, I just well, come on with us. Uh, come uh, on with <laughs> us. <laughs> and then foot, football, football. My I, I actually, well, it's the Washington Commanders now. So, I okay. I, I grew up. I grew up. Uh, in, in, in I'm born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. And so at that time, um, I'm 50. So back in the day, you know. That's who they were showing all the time was Washington. The Falcons we either get blacked out, and they, and so the first helmet my dad ever bought me was a Washington football helmet. So I just actually, and I caught them. Here's the funny thing, Keith. I caught them at the right time in '83 when they started winning and going to the but, win. Yeah, but it's been hard. It's, hey, it's been, hey, it's been hard lately. <laughs> up, up until the, up until that name change, they were the Deadskins. Hey, hey, look! Look at Will. Hey, 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 Will. I could, I could always try Doug Williams out there though on Black History Month. You know, I oh, can always, I can always go. throw Doug. Out. <laughs> Douglas, yeah. <laughs> My final question for you guys is, what, what relaxes you guys? What, what sets you guys' minds free? You know, what, what, what is it 
with mm -hmm. your go-to thing that you guys could go to in, in, in a day to get some peace, you know, calmness, kind of decompress, you know, from everything that went on in your days earlier? Uh, I, I, I got to say sports. A game, I can watch a game and, and tap out. That's that's pretty much, I'm a sports fanatic, so uh, sports is definitely where it's at for me. Yeah, it's, hey, same here, man. Same you know, sports. Okay. And and the arts, you know, man. I'm a, yeah. you know, I'm 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 a, a budding photographer, so I love you know looking oh, wow. at artistic stuff and and paintings and, and things of that nature. So that's like that that kind of cools me out. I can sit down and look at something and look at someone else be creative, or mm -hmm. oddly enough, going to a show and being entertained as opposed to entertaining. Oh, yeah. so, okay, okay. Yeah, nice. I mean, it's, it's a good outlet. That's that's good. Well, I I know you guys are busy. I wanted to make sure that uh, I got you on Will because I told Keith I was gonna make it happen. So I appreciate I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Will. I appreciate you, Will, man. You lying? You lying? Oh, you lying? What? What? Listen, I I sent him an Instagram and I was like, hey, man, he tore. October and he was like, "Okay." I said, "Oh Lord, it, 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 it was kind of and from my end, not saying from Keith end, but from my end, I was kind of like, man, I let him down. I told him I could make something happen.' Hey, <laughs> so then <laughs> we still be folks. I ain't gonna hold it against you, man. I ain't gonna hold it against you. So, so, so when Pam hit me up and said, "Hey, it, it came because it came out of no Keith, it came out of nowhere." Because Pam hit, I said, "Oh, let me hit Keith." I said, "Hey, man." Hey, I just told these people, hey, we can we can yeah. make some hey, what's up. <laughs> well, well, we gotta get in the lab one of these days, man. Oh, without a doubt, man. Oh, without a you, doubt. Man, yeah. you a bad dude, brother. You like a bad I love what, to. What, what you got coming up, man, that I can uh that I can watch. I got I got a new song out right now called Black Boy Joy, uh, which is nice, um, nice. really cool towards the black youth, the black and Latin kids. Uh, I I shot the video with some uh, youth in Atlanta. And uh, the Outlaws, uh, Tupac's group, the Outlaws, uh -huh. we did a really, really dope record, R&B, hip hop record that's out right now. And then I'm, I'm finishing up the album, man. So I would, I would love to, you know, what I'm saying, I would love to vibe with you, get in with you for Brother, sure. Let's, let's do it, let's do it. I'll get your information. Matter of fact, okay. what the hell am I saying? I will get there. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me pause. Yeah, I'm gonna say, hold I'm on. gonna say, you stop. All right, yeah. So yeah, I would love for you guys to, you know, do a project together, man, and get together. I think y'all can make uh some some beautiful uh beautiful music um you uh uh keith i before i let you go i interviewed a group man i don't know if you thought about or both of y'all thought about working with I, I interviewed last week uh rock city mm -hmm. Not you know you uh you, keith you know who they are right rock city You're, yeah they, yeah. They, they, they 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 they're from uh will they from vi and yeah. um they they uh they have a R and B hip hop also the islands sound but they have written and produced for a whole bunch of people man I've, mm -hmm. I'm talking I was fans of them that they both brothers two brothers I was a fan of their music when they first came out and they live in Atlanta and yeah. when I interviewed them what what threw me off will they answered the question so perfectly I asked them. I said, man, why more, don't more people know you guys are out here, and, you know, doing this, that, and the other? Right. And, and, and uh, Tehran told me, he said, hey, man, the people that need to know, they know. Oh. <laughs> and, and he said, he said, he said, it's always about the artist. He said, yep. if, we, if, if, if my brother and I are not putting out our own music, right, we're not doing our thing, then whoever we're writing and producing for, it's about them. Okay. Yeah. yeah, all right. I'll do but, my own work on them. Yeah, do your man, they Keith man, they, they, these some cold brothers. They, okay. they, they these some cold brothers. And so I had the pleasure of interviewing them uh last week. And I thought about you and and uh Keith. I said, man, these these some and when I told them about you, Keith, they said the same thing. Will said, they said, What hold on? I said, you know, was it you know, I always got to go to Dream Girl so I can. You know, I know you did more than Dream Girl, but it's like the first thing yeah. to get. They's like that brother sing. I said, "Hey man, go to YouTube, <laughs> type his name in, and wow. you go enjoy his music work." And so, yeah. man, I just I just try to make it happen, man, because I'm I'm fans yeah. of you guys, man, and 
it's been a pleasure. I thank you guys for coming on the show, blessing yeah. me with your presence, man. And most definitely, yeah. y'all stay safe out there and stay blessed. Yeah. And we'll be talking again. Thank Indeed. you, brother. All well, right. hit me up, man, for sure. Yes, sir. Done okay. deal. Peace.